What's up guys, Beastly Gamer here with my review of The Order 1886. The Order is set in 1886, ironically. Uh, you, you are cast as the main protagonist, Sir Galahad, a knight who is part of a secret order that is tasked with purging lichens and other beasts from an alternate history Victorian England. Now the story, while I won't spoil the story for those out there that have not had the chance to play the game, I must say that I really enjoyed the storyline and the characters in the order. The story is very digestible. The Knight's Secret Order is a product of a long-lasting war between humans and non-humans that are a genetic mutation of human and animal. You will be tasked with taking out rebels who have questionable intentions as well as hulking beasts that have far more strength and stamina than a normal man. Now, luckily, for the Knights of the Order, there is something called Blackwater, which is a mysterious concoction that, once ingested, gives members of the Order healing, healing and stamina powers, which can even the playing field when you're going up against a creature of the night. Let's talk about the graphics. The Order 1886 boasts stunning graphics. It's obvious that the developer Ready at Dawn spared no expense when it comes to the drool-worthy imagery. The atmosphere that was created feels real and believable, with blimps in the distance, people walking about and going through their daily routines. Astoundingly, the game has no pre-rendered scenes. Each cutscene is actually done using in-game character models, which blew my mind on several occasions. The environments in the order take center stage as I found myself often standing around in awe of what Ready at Dawn was able to achieve. Close-ups of characters' faces look real and believable during cutscenes. Emotion is usually something that's hard to nail in video games, but that is not the case here. I have no issue admitting that The Order 1886 is quite possibly the best game I have ever played graphically. Sound. The Order sounds great. The voice acting is done very well and the ambience and the environment keeps you in the moment. Guns and grenades also sound fantastic, but I want to talk about the gameplay. The Order plays very well and is comparable to most top tier third person shooters. It's like what you would get if Gears of War had a baby with Uncharted, and I think that's a great combination. Unfortunately, I think that some fine tuning is still needed, in particular the grenades are most useless, as enemies will usually run out of the way of the blast radius every time you throw one. Also, there are some camera issues, particularly in stealth sections of the game, that require you to sneak around corners to stealth kill enemies with quick time events. There was a pretty frustrating period when I died a few times as the camera angle would change at the wrong time, allowing the enemies to turn around and blow my head off as I gawked in frustration. Hopefully, this issue can be fixed with a future patch. Now I do have a few gripes about the game. The Order has great gunplay, and as I said before, if you like Uncharted or Gears of War, you'll feel right at home, but unfortunately I spent most of my time fighting human beings. There are lichens in this game, not just humans, and you spend a majority of your time fighting human beings. And I just felt like they didn't show up nearly enough for my liking. I wanted to see more werewolves, and I think I probably saw about six, six werewolves throughout the entire game. Also, non-player characters who go on missions with you, they may look helpful because they got tons of guns, but believe me when I say that they are not. Games like Bioshock Infinite and The Last of Us has kind of gotten me spoiled with characters that help you in meaningful ways. In The Order, this just isn't the case. The Order is a very cinematic experience, and with that in mind, you should expect to see some cutscenes, and trust me, there are quite a few. Unfortunately, you can't skip these scenes, and that would become a little frustrating, especially once you beat the game, to have to watch those cutscenes all the way through every time, and hopefully that's something else that can be fixed with a patch. The game length drama. <laughs> Lots of reviews have surfaced with negative comments about the game being only seven to nine hours long. Uh, the argument is that the game is not long enough to warrant a full $60 price point. And the lack of online multiplayer has also been a hot button topic. And I don't know if this game would have benefited from a multiplayer component to be honest, but I do feel that the game could have benefited from something to make players want to come back after completing the campaign. A game plus mode maybe. Uh, extra difficulty levels, playing with one of the other three members of the Order, 
or just being able to start a new game with the weapons that you've previous, previously unlocked would have really helped this game with replayability, but there sadly isn't any real motivation beside the want to experience the game's story once again. The Order has some problems to overcome, that's for sure, with its lack of diverse enemy types, relatively short campaign, and lack of any real reason to revisit it once you beat the game. On the other hand, The Order is a very fun game that boasts insane visuals, believable characters, and amazing atmosphere. The gameplay is tight, fun, and responsive, and if you're in the market for a PlayStation 4 exclusive that won't drain your time, you should give The Order 1886 a try. I can see The Order becoming a pivotal franchise in the PlayStation lineup with its gripping atmosphere, eye-shattering graphics, and tight gameplay. The foundation has already been laid, and I think a sequel is quite possible. <laughs> Recommended. Thanks for all the thumbs up and support, guys. I really appreciate it. It really helps the channel. And if you're new, subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.